What's going on guys? Today we're going to go over a somewhat complicated parabola slash vertex question. And as you can tell, this question is from a calculator section. And most people end up using trying to use the calculator to get the answer. But this question is meant to be solved without using a calculator. Like if you use a calculator, it's just going to take you a lot longer. So as always, I'll first explain the fast way to solve this question without a calculator and then show you how long it would actually take if you were to use the method during the real SAT. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So the question says, in the XY plane, the graph of this is the image of the graph of this after translation of how many units to the right, right? So if you look at this equation, we have the first one is going to be parentheses x plus 5 squared plus 3. It went from this to y is equal to parentheses x minus 6 squared plus 3. And the question is asking, how many units to the right do we have to shift this equation in order for us to end up with this equation? Well, it would be really simple if we can just see what the graphs would look like on the xy plane so that we can just compare the two and see, oh, this one is by moving this to like 6 units to the right. So our goal is to visualize it. And when you have the right concepts in your head, you're going to recognize that, oh, both of these equations are actually in the vertex form, which is y is equal to a parentheses x minus h squared plus k, where h and k represent the location of the vertex in terms of h and k. That means for the first graph, the vertex will be located at minus 5 and positive 3. And the second one will have vertex located at positive 6 and positive 3. And if we were to roughly sketch out what these two graphs would look like, it would look something like this. Vertex is at minus 5 and 3, so it would be minus 5 here, positive 3 right there, like that, and it will be facing upward. And for the second one, it will be 6 and positive 3. Vertex is located right there. It's going to look something like that. And by looking at the vertex, we're going to see that, okay, that's going to be about five units here, and that's going to be about six units there. That means these two graphs are about 11 units apart, which means we have to move this graph right 11 units in order for us to end up with this graph, which is what the question is asking us to find. Therefore, our answer will be 11. In order for you to solve this question the correct way and the fastest way possible, you're going to have to understand what vertex form is. That way, when you look at these two equations, you recognize that they are in the vertex form and you can recognize where their vertexes are and visualize and see how far apart they are. And without the concept, you won't be able to solve this question quickly. So that's how you would solve quickly, but let's go over what it would look like during the real SAT. So the question says, in the XY plane, the graph of this is the image of graph of this after a translation of how many units to the right, okay? So they're both in the vertex form, which means this one's going to have a vertex at six comma three, and this one will be about minus five comma three, okay? Their y's are the same, which means their x's are about five, six, 11 units apart. So you're gonna have to move this graph by 11 units to get here, answer is going to be 11. So that's how you would solve it. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. What's up, guys? John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six-week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.